Welcome back to Life and Style. It's Health and Wellness Monday, and today we're doing it totally, entirely different. Somebody is saying you're changing it a bit. I don't think we're changing it a bit. It's totally, entirely different. We're having four chefs go head to head, and they're all going up against our very own Chef Abdallah. <laughs> and that makes him feel so good. So he took his time, said 15 minutes later. He says, this is my house, nini nini, he's in front of nini nini. Oh, you know, we're just going to see. We're going to be tasting this food later on and find out. But right now, on Living Up, we've got nutritionist Christine. And we'll let her see what the chefs are doing, what they're preparing, and how healthy that is. The importance of every single ingredient that they're going to put in the meal. Maybe, now I know I've just talked a lot. And I'm not going <laughs> to... It comes, with the, job, comes, with, comes the with the job, comes with the job. Okay, fine. Maybe mm -hmm. a bit of background about yourself, Christine. My name is Christine Muturi, mm -hmm. and I'm a con nutrition consultant with Neo Nutrition Solutions Limited. We do nutrition consulting for individuals, for corporates, for gyms, for hospitals, and basically all this is what we do. We this. <laughs> yes, we just want to make sure that the chefs... And all of us get to eat something that is healthy, get to learn something good about food, get yeah. to enjoy food. Absolutely. Yeah. And you know, most of the people will do this at home. They'll take mm -hmm. care of themselves, mm -hmm. make sure that whatever they're preparing in the house is mm -hmm. healthy. Mm -hmm. But when you go to the restaurant, mm -hmm. you need to be sure that the chefs there also take care of you. Exactly. And we're glad to have chefs here who are mm -hmm. in different restaurants in Nairobi mm -hmm. come here and showcase how healthy they can get. Exactly. Okay, fine. So I'll let you take it over. I don't know where you want to start. Probably Chef Abdallah or the mm -hmm. kitchen. Just check what's going on there. Feel free. I have a table. Torture them. You be the torturer for this one. I have a <laughs> table. You have a table? That I have seen. Uh -huh. We can <laughs> tell you the truth. All that I see is color. So I'm really excited about it. I'm going to start over there. Okay, Brenda, your table. Hi, Brenda. Hello. Where Hello. are you? I Something can't find tells me you. that people are <laughs> here. I'm here, I'm here. I'm just trying to get the cooker working. Brenda, I love your table. Mm hmm. One of the things, I will ask a lot of questions, I but I really got yeah, very so. interested in the vegetables. Because mm -hmm. one of the things we always say about food, if you want to know that your meal is balanced, mm -hmm. it has to look like it has variety. That's one of the principles of nutrition. Oh, definitely. So we have greens, we have yellows, we have orange, we have... I have garden peas on the other side. Exactly. <laughs> so the more colorful your plate is, the more likely it is to be higher in nutrient value. Oh, definitely. If I do, uh, this is a bit of leakage. Chef's plate looks like, mm. the, uh, stop peeping. This mm. is a competition. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but chef's plate yeah, looks yeah. really nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's really colorful. Mm -hmm. I've yet to see the other guy's okay. plates, but can a lot a of question? color. Yes, can you can ask, ask a, a question. question. Are you from Ukambani? <laughs> you're talking about color. color, color. <laughs> I tell you the truth. I think being a nutritionist, you just have to love color. So what are you preparing today? Um, honestly, it doesn't really have a name because it was a spa of the moment thing. Mm -hmm. I'll just call it Brenda's Pasta. Mm -hmm. Brenda's Pasta. Oh, nice. Oh, we call it pasta. I mean, spaghetti. she's so colorful. You can just call it spaghetti. No, I'm not doing spaghetti. It's not spaghetti. Um, there's a difference between... Spaghetti and penne pasta. Uh -huh. um, I think you need to see it. Uh -huh. We are doing penne pastas. Penne pastas. Yeah. Different kinds of pastas, but uh -huh. we're not doing spaghetti. No spaghetti. No spaghetti. Spaghetti is the long one. They are the long ones. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So no, I... you need to know that. So we're doing the well. short pastas. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to call it, I think I'll call it Mwikali's pasta. Yes. And um, uh -huh. it's, 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 it's just, it's going to be a nice, rich, vegetarian saucy pasta awesome yeah i like that you're doing something vegetarian and now what makes it really really where do you get what because as a nutritionist i'd want to know where you get the carbohydrates where you get your protein so the carbohydrates inside. of course come from the pasta yes now the protein part is mm -hmm. the tricky part mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. either brought to use lentil uh -huh. beans uh -huh. peas, uh -huh. which i'm gonna use uh -huh. and then make the sauce nice and saucy so it's mm -hmm. going to have all the vitamins mm -hmm. and then a bit of uh, citric in it uh -huh. Uh -huh. and the mushrooms ah. mushrooms are quite healthy yes mushrooms yeah. are quite and healthy and the peppers green peppers are also very good mm. yeah. this is nice i like that you're using the citric with your vegetable mix because the citric helps to absorb to all absorb the nutrients. It, yes. 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 Yeah. So I've got to add it in there. Oh. I don't want to use the vinegar mm -hmm. because the vinegar is refined ah. and I want it to be all natural today. Awesome. So as a quick tip, 
to everyone who's watching, it's really good that when you're, you're doing vegetarian dishes and you're doing your lentils or your mushrooms or such things, it's very important that you add variety to it. So do not have a preference for lentils yes. or beans or such a thing. The more the vegetables, the, the better. Yes, the more the variety, so you're likely to get nutrients. Mm -hmm. we, now from the protein, we call them amino acids mm -hmm. from different types so of yeah, meals. Yeah. Okay? Yes. Very good. And okay. I like you, please. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> now, where am I going next? Nobody uh, is here. Yeah. I'm wondering where the dudes have gone. That, <laughs> that is a prep area. Mm. Cooking is Everyone there. Everyone over there. Yeah. So, Chef Moses, how are you today? I'm fine. How does it feel to be the youngest in the team of all this? In Uganda. It feels awesome. It feels the awesome? Youngest, yeah. Mm. So, what are you making? Uh, right now, I'm making mincemeat stew. Mincemeat stew? Yeah. Nice. I like you, mincemeat. I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. If I was, this is pop quiz. If I was giving you a plate mm -hmm. and I wanted you to put mincemeat in my, on my plate that I sent one of my clients or one of my people has come and they want a nutritious plated food, mm -hmm. how much mincemeat would you put in their plate? Okay. So the best thing to do, especially for protein, if you're doing, if you're coming to me as a nutritionist and you want me to calculate a diet plan for you because that is some of, some of what we do. So if I calculate a diet plan, I can give you the exact amount of proteins. But a general rule of thumb, especially for red meat, is just four to six pieces. Four to six pieces would mean a matchbox size. You take your matchbox the mm -hmm. way it is. Do you have a matchbox over here? Somewhere? No, we don't smoke <laughs> this cigarettes. This is like, we don't kitchen. smoke. Oh. We don't smoke in the <laughs> don't smoke. Okay, fine. We're good people. You're good people. Yeah. yeah. I'm, you're good. You're great people. So something matchbox size, that's enough for just a person that is enough protein mm -hmm. for that particular meal for red meat if it is minced meat you need about a tablespoon a tablespoon and a half the reason we say that is all excess is converted to fat so we'll still end up gaining weight yeah and then the byproducts of now the red meat if you're taking it in excess that is how you get your goiter and na, 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 and high cholesterol and everything that goes wrong with red meat. So red meat, all, not all red meat is mm -hmm. bad. Just try to balance your portions. At the same time, make sure it is not fatty. Okay. So that works. Okay, fine. Yeah. Thank you. You're can, very I, can I ask you something? Yes, you can. Uh, you can see I'm a chef mm -hmm. and I'm skinny. Mm. What can I do to gain weight? What you can do to gain weight? Yeah. Now you need to see me kind of. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it, but one of the things you'll do, we'll work on a diet that mm -hmm. will, will help you to gain weight and increase your protein intake and such things. Mm -hmm. And then you'll need to see the torturer. I do not know where he went. I think I saw him around. You'll need to see him mm -hmm. because what you'll need to do is strength training. You need resistance training. You need to lift some weights. A bit of cardio. So, siyo kunona ya mafuta, you're gaining muscle. And muscle is always good. Yeah, yeah awesome. Are you good? Thank you. You're very really welcome. Hi. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. How are you today? Doing, doing, doing good. What are you making? It smells uh, so yeah. good. Mm. I yes. want... It Can it? you guess? In the lemon. I have In seen... Butter. butter. I saw some yeah. butter. Yeah. I s I'm seeing meat like things inside. Yeah. And I think you use some white onions. Some white onions? Yeah. Some mushrooms. Uh huh. Some bacon. Yes, butter, please. Uh huh. Black pepper. Uh huh. It's just uh, basically a sauce for uh -huh. pasta. Uh huh. But uh, with a cream sauce. With the cream sauce. Yeah. So is the cream sauce the butter itself or you're making it I separate? I make it from the cream and the butter. You ah. cannot use any other oil, mm -hmm. but to use uh, butter because ah. it binds easily, mm -hmm. easily with the... With the flavors yeah. and all. So I like that you're using a protein sauce with yeah. the bacon and the mushroom. Yeah. And I also like the butter, which is when you put fat in food, it's yeah. very filling. When you put an oil or a fat, mm -hmm. it makes the food have satiety. You get some flavor. You get some flavor yeah. also. Now, my plate would have a lot less butter. Yeah. I'm not saying, yeah. I'm just not saying, but yeah. it would have a lot less butter yeah. and a little bit less of the bacon yeah. because with bacon is something that you'd want to have every yeah. other day, yeah. not daily, as a treat maybe once in two weeks, not yeah. daily. Okay. Because w one of the things, it is, very, it is highly processed, okay. so it would have 
the, the problems yeah. with sodium, it has problems yeah, with the chemicals that are kept to process it and such things. At the same time, a little bit of butter is good. Kidogo, now when it's a lot, you use about, yeah. as a person you would have about, depending on your weight loss or weight five gain. Five grams. Five grams. Yeah. Yeah, about five grams would be fine. Yeah. Actually, but about depending on the quantity of whatever I'm making, mm -hmm. I need that to burn the onions, yeah. the garlic we mm -hmm. have there, mm -hmm. we have the mushroom. Mm -hmm. Then, it, as I've told you earlier, the this, somebody I'm <laughs> Let's this somebody who's very angry, yes. needs to add weight, yes. doesn't care, mm. is medically covered in yes. case he gets <laughs> sick. <laughs> Chef, yeah. let us just say, Mwili, you have only one body, no spare parts. We have spare parts. No That's spare why parts. <laughs> Let me tell you, the truth <laughs> is, <laughs> when you're doing your meals and you put so much fat, all of it, go, it is bad weight. You see, when I was speaking with Chef Moses, mm. I told him about exercise and now we would be able to plan his meals. Okay. So what we do when we plate a meal mm. as a nutritionist, yeah. the first thing I'd advise is that that meal is very, very high in fiber. Yeah. You get the fiber from your vegetables, you get the fiber from your fruits, and such things. So when it's higher in fiber, and then you also, wait, before you forget, you get a lot of fiber if you're using whole grain pasta as opposed to the refined wheat pasta. So you can use whole wheat pasta, you can use pasta made of rye, you can use pasta made of oat flour, yeah. and such things, as long as it's whole. So when it's higher in fiber, the fiber keeps the food in the stomach for longer. Yeah. Just a little bit of oil, because there are, re I n uh, there are recipes that you can use, yeah, that you'd use to make less fatty. But once in a while, it is good to, not once, not maybe once, once, like once in a year, not every day. Because every time I say once in a while, somebody might decide once in a while is two t once in a day, once in a while depends. But when you're doing a diet plan, do not think of it as that you need to lose weight and you have bad food and good food. The whole point of nutrition is to enjoy food. So you can follow your diet plan yeah. every single day. Yeah. And then once in six weeks, you can cheat with Chef Ken's nice looking sauce. Okay? But I promise you, healthy food tastes great. Do you, do you know whatever I'm adding here? The sauce? What this is? That's cheese now. This is cheese. <laughs> it's somebody who's Wait. very angry. No, this oh, very poison. hungry person. Please, Not very hungry person. Weight. This is a general because appeal. Gym, whenever you need to slim, you yes. can always do it in the gym. Maybe you can need always to, maybe do it. Yeah. Need to ask her to, to taste. Yeah. I'll Wait, wait, wait first. Yeah. I'm just saying, wait first, before we talk about the gym. Sick, as you yeah. that <laughs> yeah. to what I'm saying is, yeah. but before you go to the gym, you can eat something that is a bit high calorie. You can have your sweet potatoes, you can have your brown bread and such. And a little bit of protein, maybe a, tea, a tablespoon of, yeah. of minced meat, so that will keep you full and you'll have enough energy for the gym. Okay. So the cr a lot of cream, a lot of cheese, especially but now it's cheese and butter and, uh, and friends. Yeah. They're very high in saturated fats. And what these fats do is that they come in and they block mm. your arteries. And they carry themselves, they are called low, des low density lipoproteins. So they carry themselves up towards your heart. Let me up ask towards you a your heart. Yes. What is it if it is your favorite food? What would you do to avoid this? What you would do to avoid this, you know, it mm. cannot be your favorite food. You know, it is your favorite because you take it once in a while sometimes. You know, favorite, there's yeah. that thing, that there's your go-to meal, and then there's your favorite meal. True? So if my go-to meal mm. is, because I'm busy and I have a schedule, is, I know somebody who does this. Please do not arrest me, but I know somebody who does beans and rice and then mixes them together and puts that in a plate, that is their go-to meal. Not they eat it almost daily, not because they like it. Yeah. But now, when you're coming with your favorite foods, let your favorite foods be a treat that you can have once in a very long while. Because when you look at the results of your clean, healthy eating, yeah. you actually enjoy it. You're less tired, you're less hungry, and your body is functioning at optimum, your taste buds are clean. Mm -hmm. because you've not been feeding them with all this junk, you're yeah. even able to enjoy the meal more. Now can I taste? Can you have no. a taste? Mm. Have you earned it? I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> now can she wants to taste. Huh? <laughs> now what do you want to taste? Have you, have you earned it? 
Uh, That's the question. Have you earned it? This just tastes like the most. Can you switch this one on for uh, me, please? Um, I'm going home now. So, should we still talk about nutrition? No, yeah. <laughs> I think I want to become a chef. Ebu, Ebu, Ebu try again. <laughs> try, no, 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 Ebu, try again. No. Yeah, yes. No. Don't worry, I'll train you. No, no. Okay, I will return the spoon, but I have this urge to go backstage and just have a lick at it. Okay. Yeah. So before I do that, can I? So it's tasty. We're not refusing it? food. It's tasty, isn't it? Yeah. You know the reason why it's tasty? Uh -huh. you've, got, you've got talented people in this kitchen today. <laughs> there is gifting. Yeah. Now, I like the taste of the food. Have yeah. it once in a while. Please, please, please. Not daily. Once in six yeah. weeks, it's okay. fine. So the rest the of the time. So the nutritionist has given you the go-ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Have it every now and then. No, 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 no. Okay. Once yeah. in like six weeks. And then so after that, take. Good. I know. Yeah. We can leave me from now on. I think from tomorrow, when you call me back, I'll be a chef. So, no, so that's it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll May be I the chef's you, assistant. I'd oh. just like to ask you a question. Okay. Yes, please. You see, you started off with it's very, very colorful. Mm. And you were just wowed with a white color there. Yeah. Let, let so it's not about color most of the time. Yes. It's it how, how you incorporate exactly. the ingredients. Yeah. Now, it's very, very important. It, that's very important. The, the colorfulness of, mm -hmm. the, of the ingredients is very, very important mm -hmm. in the sense that, you know, we are talking about mm -hmm. vitamins. Mm -hmm. and everything mm -hmm. but at the same time you know you might get all the best colorful mm -hmm. ingredients mm -hmm. and if you don't know how and to use them and then you don't know how to incorporate exactly. them that's a problem mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. chef Abdallah, yeah, please yeah, get back to the competition mm -hmm. as uh, me and christine all have right chat. okay you know now a little bird whispered to me yeah that we just had a master's mm. is that true I am currently doing my yeah, master's. I'm currently doing yes. Yes. I'm working. I'm almost close to the truth. Yeah, I'm <laughs> working on my master's degree. Mm -hmm. I'm working on my thesis. But please, if you're watching me and you're my lecturer, this is a disclaimer. <laughs> I am working on it. You're working I on it. I am working on it. <laughs> deadlines me Peter Moko within the hey, timeline. Deadlines me Peta, Maisha Ika You But know, you're here yes. having fun on life and style. Exactly. It needs to a masomo ya gumbaru. You just do it. So what do you face. think about today's uh, today's show and what the chefs have prepared for us today? I love what the chefs have prepared. Mm -hmm. It looks very good. But now it is very important for everybody who's having something to eat. Mm -hmm. Always observe mm -hmm. that you're eating something healthy. If you come to a nutritionist and I tell you, plate your food this way, because these are the portions that you should eat. I don't think that there is a chef in this world who will refuse to plate them for you. Okay. Because most people say, I cook and eat in hotels, so they don't give me enough or they give me <laughs> too much. So you're changing much. your tone there. Do we do that? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I, I promise you, if you come to my office, you will just laugh. Okay. But come on. Nah, 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 nah. They don't tell me. They just give me everything or it's a buffet. So all the way, at all times, our chefs are really amazing. We have great, talented chefs, and they will give you what you need. Absolutely. Always ask. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Christine. I see you had a lot of fun today. <laughs> I had so much fun. <laughs> Okay, I hope you have learned as well so many pointers that uh, nutritionist Christine gave you. I hope you will take them with you. Well, we'll keep waiting and see how the chefs are doing. I see the action has moved from here to the kitchen. That means we are getting closer to, you know, tasting the meal. And they're going to have an amazing time until that time. We're taking a very short commercial break. When we come back, we'll have Beyond the Sport, this kind of version. This kind of version, this is what it's going to have. So things are totally different today. Brian Tum, of course, will be here. But uh, Chef Abdallah, are you ready for Brian? If he's wearing a new pair of Mbona shoes. Wewe chakuli yako bade kwa pamu na kopi tips za watu uko? No. He's a man. I I he's a man. He's a we, yeah. can't, we, can't, he's we started off. We started off 15 minutes. I gave them 15 minutes. Uh, yeah. That's another 15 yeah, minutes. Yeah, Half an hour. Uh, we can't a recipe. Do, do you think I'm going to copy tips that we're going to do? I'm going to be a recipe. Tricks of the trade. <laughs> Chef Abdallah, are you OK? I'm OK. You want to come and help? <laughs> <laughs> Moses, you were the first person to start uh -huh. Uh -huh. the cooking. Mm -hmm. Sorry, You're the first person to start the cooking. Uh, Okay, fine. Okay, this sauce. Please just tell them who's okay. Di. We can okay, call it is pasta muikali. There you go. Or, no, I think there yeah, you go. We, we, we can call it muik's pasta. Muik's 
with an X and an S. No, you got it. You got it. And an S. Let me tell you something about Okedia. Every day, every day. Okay, come and I'll tell you a story about you. An X and an S. You need to come up with something. We have a very nice idea. Mine will be more meal. Momil. Momil. There you have it. Yeah. This is called Momil right here. Ken. Yakovipi. Okay. Let me come over. <laughs> Mwik's pasta with an X and an S. Why? Oh, yes. We are Ken. going far. I've been trying to look for the name, but I can't uh -huh. find Nambali. it. I tested Ken's. I think we just call it Ken's sweet sauce. Canned ah, sweet sauce. Nice. Yes. There you have it. Exactly. The nutritionist just gave you a name, canned sweet sauce. Yeah. Are you happy with that Let name? Let me get it from her. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so canned sweet sauce, we've yeah. got yeah. more meal, we've Anyone got uh, okay sauce, oh. and uh, wheat pasta. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there you have it. We're having so much fun here. I hope you are learning something as well. We're taking a very short commercial break. When you come back, it's all about Beyond the Sports Kitchen Way, the Kitchen Way, with Ryan Sumer. Don't go too far. We'll be right back. Thank you.